Hello students, here I Priya Satcha, your maths teacher, welcome you again in my online part chala for class 7th. Before I start, I would suggest you all to please like and subscribe this channel. So whenever I upload my next video, you will get the notification for that. And while commenting, don't forget to share your name, class with section. And PDF of this chapter 1 in teachers is available in the home tutorial in the green box above the videos at jmps.org.in. Before starting the video, I request all of you to make the notes of these topics. If possible, please make one register in which do your home task on regular basis as it will be checked and marks will be allotted for that. In the previous video, I have discussed about subtraction of integers, properties of subtraction and addition and subtraction together. Now in this video, I am going to discuss the topics multiplication of integers and properties of multiplication of integers. So now let's start with the multiplication of integers. Integers means numbers both positive and negative and if we multiply two or more integers we use the symbol of cross or dot. If integers are written in brackets or no symbol is used it means we are multiplying them together. If I have to multiply minus 9 and 7 then I can write as minus 9 cross 7 or minus 9 dot 7 or I can write two numbers, two integers together with no sign in between. That means multiplication sign is there. Clear? Now in, now in multiplication, these, this example's answer is minus 63. How? For that, you have to just keep it in mind these rules. If you are multiplying two integers having same sign, having same sign, if you are multiplying those two integers, answer will be you have to multiply those numbers first and then sign a sign will be positive only. For example, here, 3 multiplied by 4. In these two integers, you can see both are positive. So here answer will be, you have to multiply the numbers first, 3, 4, 12 and sign will be positive because both are of with positive sign. Clear? Now, second example, minus 2 multiplied with minus 5. Here you can see Again, same signs are coming. Then first multiply the numbers only. 2, 5, 10. And then sign a sign will be plus. Because both are having the same sign. Clear? Now, if you are multiplying two integers having different sign. Then with the answer, you have to assign the sign of subtraction. For example, if you have to multiply minus 5 into 6, you can see different signs are coming. So first multiply the numbers only. 5, 6 are 30. And sign a sign will be negative because here different signs multiplication you are doing. Next example 67 multiplied with minus 2. Here again different signs are there. One is of positive, one is of negative, other one is negative then multiply the numbers only 67 into 2 is 134 and sign a sign will be negative is it clear everyone now next topic is properties of integers let's start with closure property the product of any two integers a and b is always an integer value when you will multiply any two integer, here I am multiplying 5 and 4, both are integer and answer is 20 which is an integer value. Here I am multiplying minus 8 with 7, both are integers and there in between there is no sign 
that means we have to multiply only clear so when you will multiply the numbers 8 7 is a 56 and signs are different minus and positive clear so here with sign you have to apply negative sign and minus 56 is an integer value then you can say integers are closed under multiplication clear now second property is commutative property of multiplication for any two integers a and b if you will change the order of multiplication then only answer remains the same clear now check here i am multiplying minus 14 with minus 4 14 fours are 56 and same signs are there which i am multiplying then answer with answer you have to apply a positive sign clear here i am multiplying minus 4 multiplied with minus 14 here i have changed the order clear so 4 into 14 is 56 and sign assigned will be positive because of both negative integers clear now you can see here answers are coming same then you can say commutative property is applicable for multiplication of integers third is associative property of multiplication i told you in my previous uh, video that commutative property and associative property are both same but the difference is the little different is that in commutative property we will take only two integers but in associative property we will take three or more integers clear now again for any three integers a b and c while changing the uh, order of multiplication then only answer will come same now let's check here i have taken three integers 6 minus 15 and minus 3 i am first i am grouping 6 and minus 15 clear so first solve 6 into minus 15 answer will be minus 90 and when you will multiply it with minus 3 then answer will be 270 why it is positive because that multiplication having the same sign negative clear now in this next part i am grouping minus 15 and minus 3 clear so now you have to solve minus 15 into minus 3 first 15 3 is a 45 sign will be positive because because again there are same negative signs so plus 45 will come and then multiplied with 6 when you will multiply 270 will come now you can see in both case answers are coming same 270 then you can say integers are associative under multiplication also clear now next property is multiplicative identity of integers before this video i told you what is the identity property an identity is a number that when added subtracted multiplied or divided with any number allows that number to remain the same clear yeah. identity will be either zero or one depending on the operation that we are using here we are using multiplicative identity so in that case multiplicative identity states that any time when you multiply an integer by one the result or product is that original number for example a into my in a into 1 is a means if you are multiplying 1 with any integer the integer will come itself like 2 into 1 is 2 clear 1 into minus 7 is minus 7 minus 7 into 1 is minus 7 hence multiplicative identity is always 
one clear very important topic now next is distributive property of multiplication over addition clear so for that for any three integers a b and c a into b plus c is equals to a into b plus a into c or you can write as a b plus a c actually these two terms which i have written are same here i am writing with multiplication sign and here i am writing with no sign in between clear but in that case i am distributing a among b and c both with positive sign in between so it will be a into b plus a into c clear so this formula you have to just keep it in your mi mind while you while doing distributive property of multiplication over addition clear for example consider three integers 5 minus 6 and 7 take a as 5 b as minus 6 and c as 7 left hand side left hand side that you have to prove first a as 5 b as minus 6 c as 7 when you when i am grouping minus 6 and 7 together now solve solve by addition of integers property here different signs are there then operation will be subtraction you will subtract 7 minus 6 is 1 and sign a a sign should be according to the greater number which number is greater 7 is greater so positive 1 now 5 into 1 5 into 1 is 5 clear now we have to uh, prove that RHS clear RHS you can take like this a into b plus a into c or you can write simply a b plus a c anything you can write clear so now here a is 5 b is minus 6 plus a is 5 and c is 7 clear now multiply 5 6 or 30 first you have to multiply the numbers and sign a sign will be negative because of different sign 5 7 are 35 35 will come and sign a sign will be positive clear now minus plus minus so 5 will come when you will subtract because of different sign 5 will come and sign a sign according to the greater number which number is greater 35 so it will be positive now you can see both answers are coming same both LHS equals to RHS clear that is called distributive property of multiplication over addition now next is distributive property of multiplication over subtraction now you have to check for subtraction to so instead instead positive sign you have to apply negative sign clear process remains the same so here a multiplied with b minus c now you have to distribute a among b and c so you will write a into b minus a into c or you can write as a b minus a c let's prove that by taking one example consider three integers as 3 4 and minus 5 a as 3 b as 4 and c as minus 5 first prove lhs left hand side a as 3 b as 4 minus sign and then c as minus 5 first convert two sign in a single sign i told you you can't write two signs together so minus minus plus 4 plus 5 9 9 3 is a 27 clear now check rhs a into b minus a into c or you can write a b minus a c when you will put the in uh, numbers value 3 into 4 is 12 minus sign 3 5 is a 15 and sign a sign will be negative because 3 is here 3 is positive and 
5 is negative. So sine sine will be negative. Now minus minus plus. 12 plus 15 is 27. Now you can see left hand side is coming equal to the right hand side. So these are properties of multiplication of integers. Now after this I am giving you some homework for you. So solve exercise 1D in that question number 1, 2 and 3. Even parts, only even parts you have to do in notebook. notebook. Clear? Only even parts of question number 1, 2, 3 you have to do in notebook. If any query then you can write, you can message me in uh, through comment box. PDF uh, is available in the home tutorial in the green box above the video at jmps.org.in. Hope you like my video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.